What's cranking, everybody? It's Joel. I'm here to tell you about Rocket Bites. Rocket Bites is an indie game made by possibly Exolotl. It is free on itch.io, but you can tip the creator and you should. This game is awesome. You can follow Possibly Exolotl on Twitter at Possibly Exolotl. He's very active on there. Links to the itch.io page, Twitter, and a making of video on his YouTube channel in the description below. Let's get into Rocket Bites. Rocket Bites is a game where you control a spaceship and have to navigate to the bigger spaceship to finish the level. What makes this interesting is that you get thrust to move forward from the D-pad or the A button and you rotate the ship 360 degrees using the crank. Different levels have different amounts of gravity as well and that keeps these core mechanics fresh. There are also hazards in this game between you and the goal, but if you're anything like me, you'll probably hit the walls more than you're going to hit the hazards. I really appreciate the clever use of the crank in this game for navigation. Oh, and no big deal, but this game has an in-game level editor. You can save the levels and everything. It's very extra. I was very impressed. What we're looking at here is a level I made using the editor in just a few minutes. It's actually quite intuitive. There's also a music editor for the bang and soundtrack and QR codes in the game to follow the creator. Very extra, very impressed. I think it's safe to say this game has the most features of any Playdate game I've played so far. To nitpick and take the rose-colored glasses down for just a minute, there is only 15 levels in this game. However, there are user-generated levels and a level editor, so that helps make up for it being a bit short. Tapping the up button while rotating to navigate through the levels slowly and carefully is how I got through. I also appreciated that the game kept a uh, death counter during my playthrough. I died a lot. And that's okay. This game has a fair few particle effects. Most notably the stars in the background that give it the deep space energy and the explosion when you die. The graphics are simple, but that works here. I never got distracted between an obstacle like a wall or a saw blade, and a decoration like a person or a play date. I mentioned earlier that there was a music player mode. This is great. This game has eight tracks and makes me wish I had the play date stereo dock to better enjoy this mode and that music. In the music player, you can see the real world time, the battery percentage in your play date, and using the crank, you can manipulate the speed at which the music plays. There are cutscenes for when you start a new game, when you finish the game, and all in all, this feels like a very polished experience that is super easy to recommend to everyone that has a play date. It's free, people. Free. Play it. It's great. Rocket Bites also won 2022 Play Date Community Award Best Launch Experience, hosted by the Tiny Yellow Machines. Let me know what you think of Rocket Bites in the comments below. Again, the links to the itch.io page, a making up video, and possibly Axolotl's Twitter are below. Please like, subscribe, and share. And you can follow me on Twitter, at PlayDateTV. Thank you again for watching. And if you want to suggest a game for PlayDate that you want to see me review in the future, let me know. Keep on cranking, everybody.